Hey guys, this is Pinky and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Dracaena marginata. Here you can see Dracaena marginata, more commonly known as dragon tree. It is an attractive plant with elegant long green thin leaves with red edges. It is basically a low maintenance plant that can last for years. These plants are perfect for beginners. Dragon trees grow best in bright light, but they can also survive in dim light. Plants in lower light situations will grow slower and will produce smaller leaves with less intense color. Don't place your dracaena in full sunlight because the foliage might burn. When your dracaena growing as a potted plant, use loose well-drained potting mix. Cocoa peat moss is ideal for this. Make sure the the container has room for the extensive root system. Don't overwater it. Wait until the top half of the soil is dry before watering. If the plant develops brown tips on the leaves, that is often a sign of overwatering. Dragon trees have low need fertilizer. Feed them lightly at the beginning and twice a year is enough for this plant. It is basically a slow growing plant so report it only every second or even third year. This small tree will grow to about 18 or 20 feet in warm outdoor climates but it is generally grown as a potted house plant and kept it pruned to 5 or 6 feet or less than that. Unlike many indoor trees, it tolerates a wide range of temperatures. You can see this plant is quite large and here is the baby plant here is three baby plants wow i love this bright colorful leaves This three ones is so cute. This baby plant's leaves is more brighter than the mother plant. You can see baby plant's leaves are more reddish or pinkish. Now I'm going to separate these baby plants from this mother plant. I'm going to cut it. Here I have cut these two plants. The other plant is smaller so I think two plants should be cut here these two it roots easily from stem cutting rooted in water or soil and rooting hormone is not necessary for this here I have taken potting mix it is the mixture of sand soil and compost I wet the soil. Now I am removing all the lower side leaves from this. Just make a hole like this. 
this and just put it in the soil now i am doing the same thing to this plant is ready here is the new plants two baby plants here i have taken this plant in bright light here you can see this nice plant and one thing i also want to mention that it is also listed by NASA as an excellent plant for removing harmful chemical from the air. So you can easily keep this plant in your room, house or anywhere you like, indoor or outdoor. If you liked my video, please hit the like button. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.